title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunt in the question tonight. With a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he will be. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, or be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champion. Opens with the inside leg kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That one hurt. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, he missed that kick. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, well done there, Joe, as he catches the kick. He blocks the punch. Oh! Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. 
his head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Really miss with that right hand. They continue to exchange. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Oh! And he connects with the punch. Lee gets tagged by that kick. That can't feel real good, Joe. Oh, oh. nailed him! Just misses with that big right hand. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice shot. And another one lands the head. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he connects there. Oh! Big power shot there. Nary swung with a haymaker. He tagged him with that right hand. Champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang on. Body kick, look at that. Under two minutes now to go in the round. How about that chin? Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that kill. Effective punch there by Lee. A oh, right punch followed by a left there by Edwards. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, slipped that left hand well, Joe. Hit him with the jab. One minute to go in round one. Big straight left. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. High kick. Seconds remain in the round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Looking to land the right just out of range. Strong straight left there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. There's a powerful kick to the body. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste is here. You ready? You ready? Round two underway. Starting off 
this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna wanna move and avoid taking damage early. Joe, a nice head movement there to slip that right hand. Lands with the right hand. Edwards' his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful right leg kick there. Try to establish that jab. Patented front kick there by Lee. Roundhouse kick, Joe, unable to find the target. Can we show you the total strikes? Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. He's got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Ooh! Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, he landed a good series of punches there. Big head kick. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! This could be it right here. Just missed with the huge kick. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. There's a nice inside leg kick. His facial cut is getting worse now, Joe. Man, is that thing fauceting blood. And he's looking for that left. Edwards gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Big kick lands. Oh! Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Wow! How about that chin? Just missed with the left there. 90 seconds to go now. Just misses with the right. Nice leg kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Edwards' his strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, and he connects there. There's a nice exchange. Doubles up on the jet. Oh, slips to avoid the right. That is some nasty-looking swelling on that left eye. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Connects with the right. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, how good is that jab by Nice. Oh! He hurt him. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he might be out. Things just got real interesting. 
interesting. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Big round. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He has oh! He's and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. Check it out again. Bang! And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. So there he is, the man they are all still chasing at 170 pounds. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion remains as such and does so by way of the knockout here tonight. A great moment for the corner there as you see them start to celebrate. What an opportunity seized by the UFC welterweight.